the original randomized double-blind controlled trial of diet and eczema found that cutting out eggs, chicken, milk, and beef significantly improved eczema in 70% of the kids that completed the study. Subsequent studies found similar results, though in this case, for example, it only seemed to work for a quarter of the kids. But bottom line, out of 13 studies on avoiding milk, eggs, or both, 10 out of 13 studies documented overall clinical improvement. The economic burden of eczema caused by just regular cow's milk formula alone may be hundreds of millions of dollars a year, though eggs appear to be worse in terms of predicting persistence and severity of the disease. Sensitization to egg white and cow's milk can occur even in breastfed infants, though, and so presumably the source of the exposure is the passage of egg and cow proteins through the mother's milk, but you don't know until you put it to the test. New mothers were randomized to cut out eggs, cow's milk, and fish from their diet during the first three months of breastfeeding after giving birth, or to continue their regular diet. And indeed, the infants of mothers who cut out the eggs, milk, and fish were significantly less likely to have eczema by age six months, though after that age the decreased rates of eczema in the no eggs, milk, or fish group was no longer statistically significant. Follow those same kids out to four years, though, and those whose moms you know, cut out the eggs, milk, and dairy for just three months while breastfeeding had significantly lower eczema rates even years later. Consuming that hypoallergenic diet during breastfeeding cut childhood eczema rates in half. Eating more plant foods may also help. The majority of fruit and vegetable studies suggest that higher consumption by mothers during pregnancy and children in early life results in reductions in asthma, another allergic-type disease. Uh, maybe it's the phenolic phytonutrients in plants that are helping, uh, supported by evidence that certain vegetarian diets uh, appear to alleviate the severity of skin diseases in adults with eczema, uh, though if you look at that citation, it was a very strange diet. They found striking benefits in terms of reducing the severity of eczema, and even two months after they went off the diet, they were still doing better than when they started. But the diet was just vegetable juice, brown rice, kelp, tofu, tahini, and persimmon leaf tea, and severely calorie-restricted. And just straight fasting alone can improve eczema, as can a strictly plant-based diet, which is not so surprising given the data on children showing how much better they can do cutting out eggs and dairy. In spite of these data, dermatologists and pediatricians have for many years denied the role of food in eczema, even though as many as 80% of kids may benefit cutting out milk and or eggs, regardless of what the various allergy tests showed. You can't necessarily tell if diet is going to help until you yourself put it to the test in your own body. And that's what parents are doing. They're not waiting for their pediatricians to catch up. 75% of parents with eczema-stricken kids have tried some form of dietary exclusion, uh, most commonly cutting out dairy and eggs, though only about 40% of parents who tried it feel that it worked. But hey, why not give it a try? A typical recommendation you see in the medical literature is like, look, if you have a child with some bad eczema and the drugs aren't working, then why don't you try cutting out some foods? But that seems to me backwards. I mean, if foods are contributing, why not treat the cause and eliminate the offending foods and then do the drugs if diet isn't enough? Now, there are some pretty nutty eczema diets out there, like the so-called few foods diet, excluding everything except like lamb, potatoes, rice krispies, broccoli, and pears. To my surprise, it was actually put to the test. I told you docs were desperate, but it failed to show a benefit. Basically, if you don't know where to begin, the simplest approach may be to just cut out dairy and eggs and see what happens. That's a controversial recommendation, though. Avoiding fish, beef, eggs, and dairy without medical supervision? That might trigger malnutrition-related pathology. What? I checked out that citation, and it's just another article making an unsupported claim. Now, if you exclude 
everything, like 99% of your diet is rice milk, well, then obviously that's completely insufficient. But for most parents, the number one thing they add to their child's diet for eczema is vegetables, and the number one thing they cut down on is junk food. And I don't think we have to worry about a junk food deficiency.